Okay, take three. This is not going exactly the way I thought it would be. Oh wait, okay. Okay. All right, I figured it out. Figured it out. I was just having trouble um, uh, getting this whole thing to uh, to flow correctly. I hadn't really worked out the kinks in this. Take three. Yeah, this is the third time I've attempted to start this stream. Uh, hello, my name is my name is Kyle Calgren. I am very tired. It is near my bedtime, but. I wanted to see if I couldn't start streaming um, something, anything, because I can't do video essays all the time, and I need to create that content, and <sighs> it's going exactly as, as it normally is going. Um, yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm going to share this link to Twitter. So you can all hear audio of me tweeting. This is a great start. Okay. okay, streams held high. Let's see how this goes. Play some... Six. Okay. Now we should be going and we can actually try, um, you know, playing a game. Now, uh, I play a lot of Civilization. I have played a lot of Civilization. I have since uh, I was a child. It is my most um, obsessed over game series. It's the one that I've devoted the most mental energy to. Uh, I played a lot of Civ VI. Um, I have all the DLC, all the expansions, most of the um, achievements. So let's actually go for one of the achievements. I'm going to go with Eleanor of Aquitaine. Uh, I usually go for a huge map because I like exploring. I like having multiple players. I like having... Uh, I like the way this game... Sorry, I'm bumping the mic. I like the way this game does um, personalities for the AI. I mean, they all have si very simple motives, uh, but um, it does an, an interesting um, kink in the actual gameplay. So anyway, um, Prince. Uh, Prince difficulty, standard game speed, continents huge. Reasonable disaster intensity. Bring it. It is being brought. Um, some basic stuff behind the game for those who don't play it. Um, it's basically world history in the style of chess. You have units, you move them around a, a board, a map, and uh, you try to beat the other players. Sean Bean. I'm coughing a little bit. I'm going to get a cough drop. My voice should be a little bit um, easier. What mods am I running? Uh, what mods aren't I running? Um, a lot of cosmetic stuff. I'm running the red mod for um, 
Civilization unique units, like graphic units. Um, there's one that adds multiple religions, one that adds unique district icons, like, you can actually see one right here, the uh, Royal Navy Dockyard is uh, a custom one. But anyway, let's start. Ooh, excellent start. Um, right by the sea. Actually, let me look at the uh, yields first. Where are the yields? There they are. Um, not a great yield start, but we are right by uh, resource. Two resources, so let's call that good. And uh, sailing boost, good. Research. Actually, I'm going to turn the music up a little bit. I love the music for this game. I listen to it on repeat when I'm not even playing the game. It's embarrassing. <laughs> How am I doing volume-wise, by the way? Found a natural wonder, excellent. Get the religion boost, wonderful. All oh, right, I have a um, dynamic name thing uh, installed. So we have Londres instead of London for some reason. And we've met the Olmex, I believe. Just letting the warrior do the scouting because we don't have a scout yet. <coughs> hmm. And a goodie hut, excellent. Green sleeves. Life to not fascism. Here, here. <coughs> Excuse me. Hmm. Let's build the second warrior and then go for a settler. Oh, and installed a mod that highlights Goody Huts, uh, and that's a Goody Hut um, map lens, along with several others. Hmm. Sent an envoy? Yes, I will send an envoy. Is that a resource? Yes, it is. Tobacco. Excellent. Let's see. 
Starting trade with the Olmecs would be excellent. Okay. Um, I haven't seen any Barbarians yet, but I usually start with Discipline. Um, and, uh, hmm. Urban Planning. Let's go with Urban Planning. Uh, we already have the uh, Faith and Gold income we need, so let's go for it. Actually, how are our yields doing? Dun, 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 dun. Hmm. Yeah, actually. Let's, see, let's go with Settler. Ooh. Yeah, we get a nice debtor city uh, planted out here. Fresh water. Good, uh, be a good Petra city too. Petra's a. Yeah. Nada, excellent. We've met the Moors. We're at the Moors, so. Uh, yep, Barbarian Outpost. Okay. Ooh, and we have a Pantheon. Wonderful. Um, okay. Let's see. Divine Spark. Uh, I usually pick a Pantheon that, like, lasts well throughout the entire game. Um, because so many of these are just only useful, like, right at the beginning. Uh huh. Let's go with Divine Spark. That's a pretty good one. Working towards a religion. And, yes, excellent. Now, I need to remember. Um, they changed England from the, uh, first released, so, um, let's see, Workshop of the World, Military Engineers, da 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 da, da Industrial Zone, too. Hmm. I actually don't know what kind of victory I'm going to go with for, uh, for Eleanor, but I'm, I only, I'm only playing as her because, um, I don't have an achievement for uh, winning as her in a game yet. That's pretty much it. Okay, we're at turn 18. We haven't met anyone yet. That's disconcerting. Yeah, I really want to meet a second civilization because I'm getting really tired of just the English music. <laughs> the way music works in this game, if you haven't played it. Um, the soundtrack is... Um, it's culled from a library uh, related to each civilization that is in the game. And the more civs you meet... Um, the more varied the soundtrack becomes. And, like, they all have their own main uh, themes that get developed and uh, orchestrated later on. And that looks like a border to somewhere. Yeah, let's go ahead and flank you. I don't think we have flanking bonuses yet, but might as well start. And have we defeated the Barbarians? Yes! Oh, also we have a mod that colorizes the historical moments just for, like, aesthetic purposes. So. And we get a boost for military tradition. So let's meet whoever this is. Oh, it's a city-state. Okay. 
But we get a boost for that. Political philosophy, very good civic. Um, so we've met Argentina. Let's see. That's what Argentina, um, Al Andalus, and the Olmecs. Until healed. Go ahead and cut through that city, and we have hit the coastline. Okay. Go ahead and leave them there to fog bust. Canada. It's Canada's in the game. Um, controversial edition, possibly, but I don't know. Yes, sampler city, sampler hospitality, and wonderful. Continue. Does that show where they are on the map? No. Wait, how how did they meet? How did we meet? Actually, before this turn ends, can I buy something? Huh. Um. Shall go ahead and buy a builder. Just to have one. <laughs> the people of Canada present gifts of maple syrup, wool blankets, and our honored traditional headgear. The toke. Absolutely, you are welcome. Great, so now that we've met another civilization, in addition to um, traditional British folk music, we also get traditional Canadian folk music. So, it's cool. a lens that they've added? Yeah, they've added a builder lens. Hmm. Alright. Let's see. Can I really build anything yet? Oh, my apologies. Uh, took. There, that how headgear is pronounced took. Yeah. I am not Canadian, so yes. Hmm. Listening to all navigation. I think. Okay, what do I need? We need irrigation because that'll give us access to this wine, which we can sell. Uh, animal husbandry, also important. Um, mining will probably be a good start, because we'll need the production. Um, okay, what do I want? Um, yeah, political philosophy. Whatever gets us closest to political philosophy. Actually, let's start with, um, early empire, so we can... You know, get that craftsmanship boost. Uh, oh, we can build fish. Oh, let's do that. Barbarian scout. Okay. T 
to Ook. Hmm. All right. Uh, hmm. Let's see, no more bearings on the way. Da, 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 da. Uh, let's move you up here. Build fish, yes. Hmm. Okay, hard line. Oh, I think Norway's in the game. That looks like a holy site. What? Ugh. Okay, I'll I'll buy that uh, spot next term. That is a great spot for a holy site. Tuka. Okay. Go ahead and start on a galley. But I am going to focus on getting that holy site up and running. Because even if you don't um, go for religious victory, just founding your own religion um, just lets you. Uh, gives you advantages that, um, that you can like tailor to your own needs in each game. Okay, build fishing boats. There we go. I said building fish earlier, didn't I? Yes, I am selling out with video game streaming. Um, Yes, bottom of the YouTube barrel. Yes, I know. Yes, please, keep going. Roast me. <sighs> um... <laughs> yeah, I know. This is weird for me. This is so open and raw and unrehearsed for me. I might as well be posting nudes. It's just... This is new territory for me. I, I'm. This is new territory, and I'm playing a familiar game for me to uh, explore it, because there are other games that I want to look into. Um, that might be more like I guess on brand for me than this. I hate that phrase on brand, but you know. Yes, I have considered streaming some Shakespeare-themed games. And yes, I do... Oh! Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay. Honor to meet you, sample your hospitality, yep, yep. Well, um, this is a very Eurocentric game we're playing, Canada included. Okay, so far we have Norway, England, France, and England and France's baby, so. Oh, Zeal Allen in the chat. I've played the movies. Um, I used to own it, uh, own a physical copy uh, forever, um, forever ago. I don't know if I can actually play it on my machine now, but um, yeah, I'm familiar with it. I tried to play it back in the day, but I wasn't really happy with um, how they handled movie making in it. They didn't give you a lot of freedom. But, <laughs> uh, definitely, I could look that up. And yes, I will take your delegation. Okay, we're in a desert, but we're by an oasis, uh, fresh water, and we're by a natural resource, and multiple, um, one luxury resource, and 
yeah, strategic. So let's found it. Look at that. Manchester by the Pink Sea. Lovely. And uh, I'm going to move you out to uh, scout for anywhere. Just to uh, make sure any barbarians don't spawn near me. Um, let's start, get you started to work on a slinger because we need to give you time to grow. Next turn. Hmm. Okay, it looks like everyone has a bigger army than me. And again, we're playing as England. I think we're gonna be best. Uh oh. Um, okay. So, Barbarian Encampment spawned right there. So, let's go ahead and start flanking them. Hmm. Animal husbandry. We will need to start improving those. Um, oh, and we can improve that stone. Get a quarry there. Just wait. Okay, this is going to bug me. I don't know why it, automa why it automatically set to London. Londres, but... There we go. Caps lock. Automatically caps locks. Alright. Da, 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 da. Uh, hey, game, you gonna throw a non-white person at me? Um... <laughs> Kyle should play 3D Movie Maker for Windows 95. I love that. Actually, it would be amazing to, like, stream some Encarta 97 or something. Antioch... Antiochia. Antioch, okay. I meant to uninstall that uh, Dynamic City Names mod. It's not really... I don't really like what it's doing aesthetically. I have not played the Tropico series. I am aware of it. Um, I could get into it, possibly. I do like, you know, city builders and that sort of thing. Oh. Um, okay, Flood. Outside of my borders... No big deal. Let's see, let's go ahead and upgrade. Battle cry, combat strength versus melee and ranged. Unit needs orders. Um let's see, I do need the uh boost for craftsmanship, so let's go ahead and Yeah, build a mine on that thing. And you keep finding a Route to Paris. There we go. Actually, I can do this only one warrior. I'm gonna have you, like, explore some territory out there. And with this, we should get the boost for craftsmanship. Excellent. And we're well on our way. And how are we doing? Okay, 
Um, less money than other people. Uh, average in science, average in culture. Uh, hmm. Overall score. Uh, okay, we're at about on even footing with everyone else right now. Let's see if we can't get an advantage somehow. Okay, we are going for the... This side. Okay. If there are no dogs in hell, then when I die, I want to go where they went. Da, 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 da. And boom. Hooray, we wiped out an indigenous people. <sighs> Love the series, very, very problematic. Can we settle closer to Renata? Oh. Hey. Hmm. Okay, yeah, we're gonna have to uh, hit the ocean if we're gonna survive. Yeah, like um like actual actual England, I suppose. Hmm. Actually, can we buy a boat? No, that will take a while. And, and we need amenities. Okay. Uh, let's see, we need the shrine because we need to start generating great profit points. To, um, okay. Good news is no one else is generating great profit points. Wait, this is great writer. I'm tired. <sighs> great profits over here. Right here, okay. Mm. Yeah, I also got a mod that adds actual portraits for um, all the great people, but they don't have the same, like, resolution, and the um, matting is off, but anyway. <laughs> Lun! Done. Um... Yeah, people in chat saying cost a toy to your Kyle. Yeah, yeah, I have a Patreon. I also have a coffee. Um, if you don't like Patreon's uh, payout system. Uh, let me actually see if I can't put that link in the chat. If you use coffee. Ko-fi. You know, one of those apps that's designed to be read and not said out loud. Da, 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 da. While I do that. Okay, I cannot move any further. Da. Next turn. Oh, and we're going to get a Golden Age next era, so... Uh, someone beat us to Stonehenge. Damn. Okay. That's bad, because Stonehenge essentially guarantees a person a religion. And it uh, it's basically the fastest way to found a religion in the game. Uh, you don't have to wait for... Um, you don't have to wait to build a holy site and a shrine to start generating great profit points. It just gives you a great profit right when you build it. So, um, hmm. yeah, someone's, uh, beaten us. Who beat us? Where's the religion screen? There's the religion screen. Okay. Probably gonna... Found a religion next turn. Okay, and... For the people who wanted to use coffee, Ko-Fi, there it is in the chat.
So, Catherine is obnoxious. Catherine, no, Catherine is obnoxious because her um, agenda, her leader agenda in this game is that she likes you if you take part in espionage um, and doesn't like you if you ignore that whole aspect of the game. But she does this, she rags on you f uh, for not taking part in espionage before espionage is even introduced into the game's mechanics. It's like a mid-game system. Uh, anyway... Unless she's counting, like, you know, sending people delegations. Which, you know, to be fair, I probably should send a delegation. Actually, I'll do that now. Send a delegation. Hey, Norway. Offer them a feast in the longhouse. Wonderful. Um, who else can I buy off? I... That just cost me, um, my boat. I have to... Wait a little longer to get my boat now. <laughs> oh, really? The French monarch is obnoxious? Yeah. Oh, Sheen Bon. Pronounced as it's spelled. She was civic. Okay. Yeah, we will need to... Yeah, that should get us to political philosophy a lot sooner. And political philosophy is important because that's when you can... That's your first, like, tier one governments you can install. Actually, while I'm doing this, I'm going to go ahead and save this game, because I may end up doing this more. I think we may all end up doing this, um, doing this more. <sighs> okay. Now, governors. I never really was wild about the governor system in this game, but, um... I'm going to start with Amani the Diplomat, because having a city-state on your side early in the game, usually a good start. Laventa. Let's go with Laventa. Oh, hey, I walked right up to a barbarian encampment. Hooray! Yes, and uh, Barbarossa's um, agenda is that he doesn't like people who interact with city-states, who, like, becomes their suzerains or that sort of thing. Um... Uh, you know, historically, Barbarossa, well, Holy Roman Emperor, in constant uh, political skirmishes with the Italian uh, city-states. I'm being distracted. I'm lecturing while playing this game. <clears throat> My first time streaming solo, too, so... Actually, can I? Hey! 50 free gold, so that's nice. I'm probably going to lose this scout. Um, probably. Actually, I'm going to send a warrior to... Um... Oh! I can buy a boat. And I get error score for it. Excellent. Um, I'm already going to get a golden age, so that's fine, but can I move it? No. Choose a trader. I think a trader would be an excellent addition to the empire. It needs orders. 
Um. Yeah, my scout is dead, but uh, might as well reveal this corner of the map too. Well, <sighs> F's in the chat, or not. <laughs> Herbs, all those various cheeses, and baguettes. Ho, ho, ho. Oui. Yep. <sighs> F's in the chat. That is what streamers say, right? <sighs> it's going to be really um, distressing when we get to later in the game when you can name the units and they start dying. Let's see, yeah, south is just ice. Obviously, but... Okay, um, Heralta Drada is the only one we sent a delegation to, and... Ugh. Yes, yeah, this is what I mean. I... Like, becoming suzerain of city-states is just such a... It's such a useful mechanic in the game, and I can't imagine playing a game without it, so... Just... Hey, um... Guess what? Germany is being kind of a dick. Hmm. Let's see. We need irrigation because we'll need to... Oh, is that a new resource? Oh, we found iron. That's excellent. I've, um... I need that. One thing, i got to show off some of the graphics I have in this game. A lot of games wouldn't let you zoom in this close, but I, know, I just love the detail they have. Frankfurt am Main. Daros. Okay. okay, unit needs orders. Okay, um... Let's send the scout, or this warrior over here. I said scout, didn't I? Next, turn. Da, 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 da. Oh, um, I should show this off. If you don't play this game, one of the things about, um, coming suzerain of city-states is that sometimes they give you access to unique improvements. So now that I am the suzerain of Laventa, um, city of the Olmecs, I can build gigantic Olmec heads. So I can do that. Um, and if I become like suzerain of Granada, I can build um, Andalusian Alcazars, but uh, not as cool. Jaunty Canadian folk music. Henry Catman, my favorite Shakespeare character, varies from day to day, sometimes from hour to hour. Depending on what, you know, um, mood has overcome me. How are we doing on profits? Okay. Uh, looks like we're the only one uh, generating great profit points, so Confucius. Here we come. Oh.
A unit needs orders. Yes, continue scouting this coastline. What do we have knowledge of ship building? Excellent. Um, let's see if there's a southern passage. Now that we've done that. And, um, hmm. Is there, is there anywhere to settle? Huh. Hmm. Not a great place to settle. Yeah. Yeah, we need a new world. We need a new continent to settle on. Now, granary. That's going to be important. <laughs> okay, uh, we learned something about Canada. They have the exploring agenda, so. Mm. Tough ship. some games it spawns so the ice um, reaches the continent so you can't actually circumnavigate uh, navally at least but the ice melts uh, because uh, global warming is now a, a feature in this game huh <sighs> Now, correct me if I'm wrong, a lot of YouTubers who don't stream are streaming now, right? I mean, this might become a thing. This might become a new normal. To, uh, to warn you all. I may inflict this on you more. Okay, we might actually be able to make it around the continent, so that's good. Now, we are kind of stuck in the early game because early game naval units can't venture out into the far ocean. You need extra technology, special technology, to uh, do that. So, hmm. This allows land units to disembark. So, hmm. actually, writing. Let's go for writing. We're behind on science. And we're going to be behind on a lot of things if we don't. Keep expanding. I really should get a trade route going. We need the cash flow. Will this lead anywhere? Sometimes, sometimes the continents are just close enough together that you can actually get a galley to cross.
Oh, Thousand Year Flood. That, um... Not affecting me, at least. Hmm. That's right, I have the uh, red mod, in mod installed, but I haven't, like, probably looked at them. Uh, the red mod, it's an acronym for something. Um, but it creates unique graphics for each civilization that uh, better fits the way their armies um, have historically looked. So actually, what does an English warrior look like? Okay, yeah, wolf skins. And uh, do we have a slinger as well? I thought we had a slinger. Did we trade a? Sl did we train a slinger? Yeah. Wait, how did? I have no idea how that happened. I did not mean to send the slinger to another continent. Uh, oops. Next turn. When is the ancient era gonna end? I'm ready for my golden age to start. There we go. Excellent. Now that we have writing, we can start putting serious uh, effort into research. Current age. Um, okay. Our immediate neighbors are in a normal ages. We are in a golden one. That means we can make a dedication, which gives us a special bonus. Hmm. Let's see. We're going to go with Exodus of the Evangelist because hopefully we should get our great prophet soon and um, start our religion. Actually... Yes, very soon. Oh, we can get it next turn. Or in two turns. Oh, why waste a faith? Let's, you know. Let's go ahead and wait until he comes. We only have two cities. Uh, hmm. Campus. Ugh. Yeah. You can afford it, and so. Now, do you want to remove the woods? Hmm. It's either that or remove the mine. Uh. And the woods seem... Let's go with... Let's do this. Let's build the city a little more compact. Save the woods for uh, something else later. And we're being attacked by barbarians. Lovely. And our first trade route. Excellent. Uh, hmm. Iris, Granada. Um, hmm. So we're going to get the same amount of... Actually, yeah. Uh, no, actually, let's go through Granada because I don't want to be their suzerain. Recruit. Knowledge of currency. Uh, the thing about this game is that when things happen, just everything happens at once, and you get, like, nine billion pop-ups. Excellent. Confucius. Confucius, born in London. I love this game. Let's go ahead and um, pick our religion. Now, uh, I have a, sp a special mod installed that adds um, 
all these different religions to the game. Um, some of the base religions are split up into different sects. It adds a lot of indigenous religions, um, religious, classical religions, um, and it adjusts the game so those religions are paired to their historically accurate leader. Now, let's see, I'm going to go ahead, since I am playing as the English, I'm going to go ahead and found Church of England. Seems logical. Let's see. Choral music. Um, I do love um, Westminster Abbey uh, Christmas choir services, so let's go with choral music. It also like it. Um, lets you put uh, effort into culture without having, without having to build theater squares. That's like a less um, infrastructure you have to worry about. So there's that. Let's see religious art. Uh, hmm. Actually, that's going to go with synagogue, because extra faith. Shocked the AI didn't get it. <laughs> True path of salvation. Ignore all those other ones. Someone, was, someone in the uh, chat asked why I'm streaming. I'm streaming because I... Um, wanted to, you know, see what it was like going live and being um, an online personality instead of just, you know, a voice behind videos for a while. It's been forever since I've actually, like, been a person online. So, this is, um... This is an adventure for me. This is an adventure. How can you dare to claim such land, claim such lands for yourself when your people are weak and so badly led? Yeah, the, the game just has this mechanic where the leaders neg you. Oh. Barbarians. Let's watch a battle. Hey. Is that a scout? Yeah. Go scout. Go scout. Hey. Good for the scout. Okay. A uh, new tribe of barbarians. Uh, the Germans will have to deal with that, I suppose. The Germans and the Bulgarians, so. Someone built Stonehenge, someone built the Great Bath. Oh, well. Okay, we're stuck on this little corner of the continent. Let me see if I can't figure out how to beeline to a decent, um... A decent way off this rock. Okay, last trade is to embark. That will be necessary. And we will definitely need a Royal Navy Dockyard. Um, do you see resources? Shipbuilding. Uh, what's the first? Caravel. Okay, cartography. We need to build two harbors. All right. Um, in that case, let's put masonry aside and just put some research into celestial navigation for now. Map options. Hmm. We don't have a lot of opportunity to improve resources. Oh, wait, actually. There's some fish right there. Uh huh. Actually, let's go ahead and pin that. Possibly, possibly, we can put a city there. It is coastal water, we don't have great housing options, but it is a third city, and we need the extra, you know, output.
Actually, can I? Oh, we can start spreading. Start spreading our belief. Okay, we're waiting. Yep. Okay, now. Religion. Okay, we still have my religion and Alatongo's the other one. Um Okay, so that probably means that that probably means that Shaka Zulu is in the game. Because Amatongo is Zulu um religion. Zulu mythology. So Does that make change? Mm. Okay, political philosophy, it's still going. Okay, um, let's go ahead and convert Manchester. Convert my second city. Natural wonder, excellent. I mean, it's nowhere near us, so we can't actually take advantage of it, but, uh, yeah. Part of the fun of this game for me is just exploring and seeing what appears in this particular map. Okay. And now this part of England has fallen to the Church of England, so... Okay, Granada converts in 101 turns. Let's speed that up. Means orders. Okay, that should give us a sea route to France, at least. Nice to meet you in another part of Europe. So. Oh, Poland is magenta in this game. Kill a barbarian scout. Okay, that is an Alcazar. The, um, the Granada unique improvement. It's a special fortress that gives you culture. Civilization. Let's see. Uh, okay, we can promote things. Huh. See, I think I should get a second governor and one that's actually stationed um, in my own city. Actually, yeah. Let's appoint the cardinal. Religious pressure. We've already founded our own religion, and we got some pretty good. Have a pretty good head start on the other guys, so. Yeah, I'd go for religious victory. Let's see. Let's go school Frankfurt. Next turn. Hmm. 
Poland has founded a new religion, Catholicism. Yeah. If I'm going for a religious victory, Poland is going to be my main rival. They're um, usually pretty religiously inclined. Actually, let's have you rest for a bit. And let's have you avoid the barbarians, if you can. Just mapping the coastline. And spread. Excellent. Oh. Preslav has been defeated. Oh, okay. By Norway, it looks like. Okay, rest and repair. Hmm. Berlin, not the capital. Um, in this game, the capital of Germany is Aachen because it's uh, Barbarossa, Holy Roman Emperor. Hmm. Now, these campaigns do last a while, and I may have to do them in multiple sessions, but. Um, Really, a session is about um, just getting my toe in the water, getting my um, feet just a little bit wet, getting used to how YouTube streaming works and what I'm comfortable with and all that good stuff. So, actually, let's go ahead and build a builder. So, I'm probably going to stop playing, like, Maybe eleven. Let's see how uh see how I feel then. Let's see, I could probably send a missionary over to Norway. And Germany is not uh yelling at me for converting their cities, so that's excellent. And actually, can I build... Can I get a second missionary? Yes, I can. Okay. And Mox has just established in London. Send you. Hmm. What's the safest way to get to Norway? Because. Okay, so this is pretty well patrolled by. So actually, let's send a, a warrior out there so we can get some. break up the uh, fog of war there. Berlin. Okay, and how are we doing on religion? <sighs> twelve sibs. Yeah, I'm twelve sibs playing. And all victory scores are allowed. All victory types are allowed. So yeah, this is going to take a while. We can't spy. The game will not let me spy yet. You can't... Ugh. 
An unmet city-state has been defeated. Okay, uh, someone's conquering a lot. Uh, hmm. It's alright if you can't watch anymore. It is late, and... Da, 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 da. Okay, once... I'm gonna try to meet another, um, player before I, um, before I hang up and call it a night. So let's see if we can just hit that mini goal for ourselves. Okay, excellent. Oh, oh we can build our Olmec heads now. I mean, I could set a plantation or a camp that's probably more useful right now, but I'm a make ahead. <laughs> Love the jaunty fiddle arrangement of O Canada here. You know, someone in the chat said it might be Japan next. I, I'm willing to agree with them. I did see the border of somewhere. Ooh, good. We have political philosophy now. Now we can actually make a decent government. So let's go ahead and do that. Uh, autocracy, not my style. Um, classical Republic. I like collecting great people in a game, so... Let's do that. Productions. Hmm. I usually go with Charismatic Leader. Uh, huh. Caravanseries. And, uh... Just to drive costs down conscription. Confirm policy. And clear this barbarian camp. And that should... Hey. Choose civic. Um, military tradition. Let's see, what should be the next stop? Uh, yeah, mysticism because I need to found need to found need to uh, research theology so I can actually build a temple and start building those synagogues, because that's when you can start really investing in spreading your religion. Unit needs orders. Keep mapping that coastline. Look at that. England's very own colossal head. And we shall build colossal heads on England's green and pleasant land. Oh, I love this. The palace art for each civilization is different. So this is the English one. And uh, let's see if we can't see the Parisian one. Yeah, slightly different architecture there. Um, and Poland. Yeah, still different. But anyway, choose production. Hmm, what can I... Let's try building a builder, because there's a lot of unimproved land that could be improved around there. Hmm. No, 
I'm going to build up that plantation. Keep doing the scouting. Huh. Night seal, Alan. Just, nope, that's just Canada. We just found Canada. Okay, you know what? Let's um let's call that a night. For now let's um call that a night. But um there's still more to come. We still have to meet Shaka. He's out there somewhere. There are a lot of uh, players we have yet to meet, but yeah, I'm not sure when we'll do the next one. We'll probably start at a, an earlier time, so we're not all nodding off by the end of it. But um, yeah, I might stream a lot more just to, you know, hang out and um, show some stuff off. Uh, there are a couple games that I was thinking about streaming for this channel that might be more on brand for me, as I said before. Uh, I have downloaded Elsinore on Steam, which is Hamlet, but you play as Ophelia and you are attempting to save everyone's life. So, um, that could be fun to play. But, uh, yeah. Thanks for, um, thanks for, hang thanks for hanging out, everyone. Alright. Good night, and death to fascism.